Hello, Mr. Runny Duck, and welcome back for another video. This time in the Tier 10 Mercenary Premium Medium Tank, the Chisel. Uh, sorry, it's been a you know a little bit delayed on my usual videos. I've been away for the weekend, so I haven't had time to make any. Uh, but hopefully, we'll get you know get this one out there, and we had to play a bit more tanks and during the week and get some more videos out uh, for you. Uh, but here we go. The first replay we got is in the Chisel. Uh, we've got three games in it today. Uh, this map here we are on uh, Cliff and we got two thumb police in the game Ooh. Uh, but we're gonna make the initial push and try and get in and take the bowl position now <clears throat> we get one in to the light tank we do eat one in return as well but not too bad to be honest be able to get this position um, <clears throat> and still be fairly healthy and get a shot in it's been okay uh, now we've got here nice and quickly, we're going to see if we can get any cross shots like into this Conqueror here. The only concern I've got is when I get spotted, if the fun police, you know, who are in a platoon I believe, uh, start focusing this way, it, it could be a little bit awkward. Um, <clears throat> so what I like to do, and I've seen just one, one fun police has to shot, I like to pull back and try and get into a little bit of cover. But also in the balance I need to keep trying to get the shots in. Um, <clears throat> we know one fun police has shot. Uh, this fe 2 b managed to get another one uh, in there and now we're pulling right down um, just to try and just in case the fun police is going to shoot uh, we're just trying to make it so it's not if we're completely stationary there he's definitely going to focus us so we're going to at least make it so he has to you know guess and maybe we've got a chance of him not hitting me by trying to not stay too stationary we get one into the hard case um, and that puts us up to you know, about 2300 damage now, unfortunately, I, I never actually got to play this tank uh, when it first came out, when it was really decent, you know, when it had the uh, unnerfed gun. The gun is still good. It's, you know, it's got 400 alpha, uh, but it used to basically have the same reload as the Chieftain, uh, and now it has got nerfs, so the DPM isn't as good. It's still a solid tank. Um, it's just I never got to play in it in its full glory days, basically, before nerf. Uh, the Amex 30B is pushed right into the open, so we're going to keep trying to get shots in there before um, they manage to get into cover. Uh, shake the gun there just because I'm a little bit disappointed with my aiming. Um, I should have shot a bit lower, I actually ricocheted that shot, which I didn't need to. Uh, we get one in there through the lower plate, um, and now we're just going to keep poking up. And yeah, unfortunately for, for this Amex 30, he's kind of stuck in a little bit of a... The open there and it's, it's presenting myself with nice easy shots um, we get one in now putting them onto one shot we bounce one off our turret and you know take it in the gun burn the repair kit but yeah it's nice and you have to take that damage and then we manage to finish him off put us onto 4,000 damage 1,500 assistance um, and now I'm just trying to lose my spot um, before I, I try and you know, you know go for a location you see one of the fun police is lit looks like it's about to get taken out which they have not done now uh, so there's only one fun police we have to contend with which we know from where it shot earlier is in about a five position um and you know less obviously they've they've relocated <clears throat> i'm going to see if i can i want to try and get some shots in and finish off this fe205b but it's not quite possible, so I'm going to try and get an angle and you know deal with this full health IS-7 while they you know putting him in an awkward crossfire. Uh, unfortunately for me, he, he's not quite presenting the shots. He does present it. We get one in through their damage in his engine. Um, now obviously he's paying their attention onto us. We can out trade this IS-7. Um, we get one in there. We expect it. We do actually bounce one off. We go for the track wheel shot because we wanted to try and track him in place so we get some more assistance. Unfortunately for me, it doesn't pay off. Uh, we then try and get a shot uh, into his lower plate and actually ricochets. Uh, probably should have aimed a little bit higher, you know, because it could have got his APCR rounds. Uh, but yeah, not, not to worry. Um, and now this game is quickly, is quickly dominated when he actually lost one tank and all of a sudden the whole, the enemy team has is, is been destroyed. Um, and it's only this waffle here and this uh, Conqueror. Uh, and another TD we've got to deal with. So we'll just full sending in in the hope that we manage to get uh, a couple more shots in. We do pick up a kill on that Conqueror and <clears throat> we have a little scan to see where the other TD is. But it looks like the only bit of a damage is going to be this Waffle. Uh, we do unfortunately low roll. Um, let's see, we have 400 alpha. So we don't manage to pick up the kill uh, in that shot. We do manage to still get the kill in the end. 
uh, bring this to an end to a very, a very quick first replay in the chisel. Um, we managed to get three kills, five thousand damage, two thousand assistance. Uh, we do pick up the ace tanker and the high caliber, and that is it for the first replay. But we've got two more to come, so I'll see you over there in a bit for the second replay. Okay, so here we are for the second replay of the video on Vineyard. Uh, we've got the Southern Spawn, and I am batooned up <coughs> with my uh, friend, uh, Cubius Pickle, and we have one fun police on each team. So from this spawn, I like to push straight across um, over to the northern side of the map from, you know, from this side, get underneath their hill, and you can sort of spot everyone up for your camping uh, tanks, you know, for your tank destroyers, etc., your artillery, your fun police, uh, to get some shots in, hopefully pick up a little bit of assistance. It's, just, it's a lot easier to achieve this from this spawn, from the southern spawn, uh, than from the northern spawn, in my opinion. I don't think this really works. You can make it work the other way, but not really, not as easy. It's a lot easier from this side. Um, a lot of our team, predominantly the, you know, the rest of our team, has actually gone the other side of the map, which is fine because I don't actually need as many numbers to defend from this side because um, you know, as long as I'm alive in this position, it's awkward to be able to push me and dig me out here, uh, especially when I've got the two mate with me because just having a couple of tanks at the back of the base is all you need to really to, you know, to keep them you know, spotted. When they try and poke ground, they're gonna, they're going to eat shots. We get one lovely shot into Jag Tiger there for the lower plate. Damages engine, but he repairs it, or they repair it, and then we get a nice one for the for the sideball there. It does have decent penetration on the standard APCR rounds. Um, <clears throat> it's got 270 pen on the standard uh, rounds, and then it's got 310 penetration on the premium APCR rounds, which, yeah, I am using, uh, because it is filthy. Uh, but we can try and get another shot in through the uh, sideball there, but because of the angle, um, we wasn't able to penetrate it. It wasn't going to be a guaranteed pen. But I also didn't want to expose myself too much. I, I really, I kind of want to bait these tanks around so they can get shot at by our, our team, uh, you know, defending on our spawn, like this E50M. E um, unfortunately, he doesn't get punished there, but he could have got punished, and he does put one into me. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. We're still fairly healthy. We get a lovely shot through the cupola. Um, well, I ruled for the yeah the cupola wall on the E100, um, putting this up to you know 2,000 damage, um, 800 assistance. We are outnumbered here technically. It's only me um, and my platoon mate um, Q's Pickle here, uh, but obviously we do have camping you know cover from our from our spawn. So this. E100 to try and expose itself. We'll try and get one in for the track wheel to track him in place. We damage his engine as well. And this E75 has had enough, so he goes all the way around to try and extend me. He should really be deleted here from our friendly team because it's easy shots. Unfortunately, they do actually just ricochet, um, but we managed to finish him off anyway. Picking ourselves up another kill um, and even in the fight because uh, the enemy team's under a lot of pressure here because we're winning the other side. So eventually they're just going to get collapsed in on and we've kind of dominated the map control really now. So they either need to kill us or you know or turn around. Probably if they turn around, I'm just going to start pushing into them um, and picking up more shots. So this E100 gets tracked in place again. We go and try and get a shot in. Unfortunately, the uh, E50M manages to get one into us. We do put one back into a turn. Um, and we are down to a thousand hit points, but you can't take them with you to the end of the game. E50 tries to extend itself, and he gets really punished for it, loses pretty much all of his health. Um, and we pick up a little bit more assistance. I am sharing it, the assistance with uh, my platoon mate at the moment, so I'm running on a thousand. That's why I haven't got all, all the assistance. Uh, e 100 is coming around, gets shut down by the E4, um, and now <clears throat> it's just about clean up at this point. Um, we're trying to get a shot into the 50 yen, but there is a waffle in 100 here. Um, and yeah, I don't want to send too much because I'm going to lose all my hit points. He's got the big gun, puts me onto a one shot, <clears throat> trying to back round and cover. Now, what I should have done is swap to the Hess shells at this point because obviously I'm easily going to penetrate uh, the waffle wheel 100 with the Hess shells, uh, and then I'm going to get myself a lot more damage. Uh, but unfortunately, I haven't done that, um, so I'm just going to. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm missing out on damage here, to be honest with you. Uh, I kind of assumed the waffle was just going to get deleted the second it gets lit, because that's usually what happens. But if it turned out, I would have got a little bit more damage. Uh, we get a shot of the 50 I think the waffle is now on reload, and I'm just going to go straight in and see if we can pick up an extra shot of damage. We do get one in and get the kill, and that brings us into the second replay. Um, let's see how we get on before we move on. We get three kills, we get 5,000 damage, 1,600 assistance, 1,200 blocked, and the ace tanker. So that is it for that replay, and I will see you in a bit for the third and final replay of the chisel video. Okay, so here we are for the final replay on Ellenberg. We do have no fun police to contend ourselves with on this game. And I think it's just one light team on either team. So really the perfect sort of uh, setup we would hope for um, to be able to get a decent game. Um, obviously without that fun police and you don't have to worry about getting shot from the sky. And about a thousand light tanks running around. Um, it's just going to be a lot easier to stay undetected, but also, yeah, just going to genuinely be a lot easier. So, from this spawn, we're going to go to the castle at the start, see if we can spot anyone crossing, see if we can get any punish shots on the cross. Um, but, unfortunately for us, this uh, chieftain is sort of full sent the middle of the map, which kind of caught us a little bit off guard there, and has actually detected us um, in a position I probably didn't want to be uh, stuck spotted for. Uh, so I'm going to move a little bit forward to get ourselves into a bit of hard cover uh, and try and spot the cross from here because we do have a few TDs etc moving up. If we can spot them before they cross and before they get over then it's going to be a lot easier to get the shots in um, and get a bit of assistance. We get one into the Waffle 100. If we can keep that Waffle lit where, where they are they're going to be in for a, a rough time because it's not going to be long before our TDs get closer, our tanks get closer. And they're going to have easy shots and easy penetrations. So we're just going to keep poking, uh, keep making sure he's lit. Obviously he's very focused on us, he misses a shot there. Um, I just know with time our tanks, tanks get there, uh, if I can keep him lit up there, then he's not going to last very long. Because there you go, he gets spotted in the open and he's just absolutely uh, obliterated. And we managed to pick up 1,700 assistants. So not bad start to the game, pick up a little bit more assistance on that uh, Rhino, the Italian uh, tier 10 heavy, and then now that Rhino uh, Rogonte is on a one shot. So we go for a Coppola shot. Unfortunately, we don't manage to get the kill, but it, you know, quickly shut down by the grill. And now it's just this E5 making the cross. Uh, we go to get a shot in straight through the side of the turret because it's not uh, paying attention to ourselves. Uh, we then quickly try and get a shot in, but we try to sort of take the shot and pull back to avoid eating one. And unfortunately, the, the scenery. Uh, the terrain uh, kind of fluffed that for us, but we do get one in the return anyway, and we still actually manage to keep our hit points here, so it's not a bad start to the game. 2,000 um, damage, 2,000 assistance. We're not going to extend for the shot for the kill on E5, because I think they're going to get shut down soon anyway, um, and I wasn't quite sure what else was looking at us. But now we've lost the spot, I've actually decided, you know what, rather than continue my push, um, I wanted to turn back and defend the base because it kind of looked like we were light on numbers that way. Um, so I was making the play back to the base. I thought, you know, I thought we was going to, you know, die there. Um, and as it is, it, you know, we are seem to be holding off a little bit. Uh, I fluffed my shot in the T55A, which gets detected along the way. Um, I stopped that shot, so it's a shame that I probably could aim that a little better. Would have got that, uh, you know, shot the extra shot of damage in. Um, and I'm now pushing up to the centre of the map to see if I can get shots on any of the tanks lit up like this 60TP. Uh, we do get one into the side of the 60TP. Now that means he can't use that position anymore. Uh, so I've kind of stopped them poking for that position. We also get one in from the Stern Tiger. And then we're going to get behind this sort of, use the buildings in front of us as a little bit of protection, a little bit of cover. Uh, we're not able to get a second pen into the Stern Tiger. But we have stopped the tanks actually poking high on that hill anymore because now they're getting shot from the middle as well. Uh, they'll also get shot by our TD uh, in the centre of the map there as well. I'm not too sure what that TD is, but they're going to get punished if they do poke. Um, and we're just looking for the, looking for the shots uh, where we can. And at least from it here, I can adjust to go either side if I need, need be. Um, <clears throat> at the moment, there is seem to be shots 
uh, presenting herself. Uh, unfortunately, we just missed the one on that S barn because it just you know manages to matrix us and get a little bit back into cover. Um, so it's unfortunate that you know we do miss a shot of damage here. Um, and I'm just kind of scanning. I'm kind of in the in the two minds at the moment whether I need to push over and, and help our team, um, you know, on the other side or or even on the enemy base side. Um, but yeah, I'm stuck in two minds at the moment because at least from here I am dead in the middle and I've, I have got a third angle on the enemy team. Um, so, but also I feel like I'm getting a bit itchy because I'm I'm not getting any shots presenting myself anymore. Um, and I want to kind of get into the fight because the teams are starting to even up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to try and sort of go, go. I was thinking about going across the bridge and getting underneath their ridge. Uh, but as I did that, I thought I, I thought I was going to get an opportunity for a shot, uh, which didn't actually materialise. Uh, but now I am going to try and make the push across the uh, bridge and see if we can get any shots. As that happens, we spot this SU-122, get one in there. Uh, and then pick up a lot of assistance, putting us up to you know, 2,700 assistance. So uh, we managed to spot that TD just at the perfect timing, really. Um, and now we're going to go straight under their ridge. Once we've got underneath their ridge, we've. I, I would. I feel like the game's almost won at that point because uh, they're going to be under too much pressure. They're not going to be able to stay undetected. We've we kind of gained control of the whole map now, um, and the enemy team is pinned in. Um, and it's going to be very, very difficult for them to pull it back from here. Um, and we're just going to see them and get shots in. This uh, Italian tank is coming full, sending over the ridge. We get one in there. We still actually haven't uh, taken the shot of damage of this game, uh, which is unusual. But it's nice to have all our hit points for the end of the end game here. Uh, the Kremlin is coming over. I thought, oh, this is not good. I need to try and get out of the way because he's going to put dump his clip in. Uh, but he's actually paying attention to the other heavy tank. So we're able to get a few shots in. We're trying our best to, to keep our heavy tank alive. Um, and even I just managed to just shut down uh, the cranny, putting us up an extra shot of damage. And there's only these two TDs left here. The Sturm Tiger, we're going to have nice rear shots on, picking ourselves up a kill. Uh, we've got this SU. We swing around to see if we can manage to get a shot in, picking up another kill, which we do. And now it's just a full health machine. And because I'm full health, he can't, it's not physically possible for me to be clipped out. So I'm just going to full send in, uh, get the shot for the track wheel. Usually with the tracks, you know, the sidearm is so weak that you actually pick up a penetration and track them in place. Uh, we go for it again. Unfortunately, we don't get the shot of damage there. It's a bit unlucky, but we do track them in place. Finishing the game, picking up a little bit more assistance. Um, so yeah, let's just see how we did. And that is the end of the video. We got four kills, 6,000 damage, 4,000 assistance. So 10,000 combined. And yeah, that is the chisel. So thank you so much uh, for watching. Thank you so much for con your continued support. And as always, happy tanking.